Put out the raw footage of how we feel. Put out the raw footage of the emotions. There are calls for justice tonight in federal way over this video that shows police shooting a young black man. Good evening, I'm Greg Copeland. I'm Joyce Taylor. That started as a noise disturbance. It was a call. It came just before midnight on December 30th. Police say the man fired his weapon and officers returned fire. Civil rights activists say the video shows that there is more to the story. King 5's Natalie Swaby reports. The family of Malik Williams has seen this video. They say Malik, a paraplegic, was sitting in the passenger seat of a car when the officer involved shooting happened. They say there were more than 80 shots fired. We brought their request to release the video to police and this afternoon police did. For this family, their emotions about Malik Williams are still raw. Young men I raised out of my womb. Their message is simple. The video and we need that to be released so everybody could see and understand what we're talking about here. <clears throat> it took 86 shots. In a wheelchair, man. And he's in a wheelchair. Marvin Walker, Malik's biological it father, is talking about the video of the officer involved shooting that happened on December 30th in Federal Way. My son's hands clearly, you, could, you were able to see them. He made no gestures of pointing any type of weapons or anything no. at these officers. If there is any interest in truth whatsoever, the Federal Way Police Department will demand that that video be released, will demand that they actually follow through with all aspects of transparency. The request to release the video was answered after we called police. We are hearing from family members who say they've seen the video and um, one said that from the angle they saw, it appears that Malik had his hands up and was not pointing a weapon at officers. Well, I, I'll provide the video today. Uh, we don't believe that's what happened at all. It appears the officers approached. There was a conversation at some point. You can see a rapid movement by the person in the car that appears to be, in retrospect, probably him drawing his weapon. We do know that he did fire. Uh, we do have two officers that were hit, one of which would have been killed if he had not been wearing his, his resistant vest. They said that for what they've learned is that 86 shots were fired. My understanding from the investigator it was 84, but we don't know how many of those rounds were fired by the officers versus the person in the car. 80 plus shots, 80 plus shots, a wheelchair, a noise disturbance call. A couple things about this video. It is grainy and it does not have audio. A family says that they did listen to the 911 calls too. We have requested those calls be released from police and we're still waiting on that. Police say they're still waiting on evidence from the Washington State Patrol Crime Lab and they still need to gather statements from the two officers that were wounded in this officer involved shooting. It's a case we'll continue to follow and bring you the latest as we learn it. For now, in Renton, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.